I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. I think I'll call Suze. Thanks, V. Sorry. But, uh, I'd rather be alone now. Promise to keep in touch. Sure you don't need anything? No, but sweet of you to ask. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow. Here, man, billions. You telling me no one gives a fuck? Fucks or not, that's the system, kid. People don't. I mean, shit. Even we don't do anything. But we got proof. We do. And if nobody kills us first, we show the world some gunk skimming off the top. And then what? Uh, he'll lose his job for one. Maybe. Maybe not. And you know what the man on the street's gonna say? I was him, I'd have done the same. Red Menace, Purple Force, it's Ivy! Do you have a moment? Needs talk? I mean, no longer a moment. Can you come by the camp? Night City, I have a problem. On my way. Hey, you there? Thanks. Yes, I'm That's talking That's good to you. hear. Give me a little more intel. What's your grief? Well, it uh, would be better to. Let me guess. To... Saul, right? You know me well. Uh huh. See you soon.
Used to be a media, didn't you? Well, not hard to guess, but I'll give you a point for perceptiveness. Why you stop? Never stopped, really. Information is a weapon, V. I just traded in for a larger caliber. 
heard about Max. V. Yeah? Let's change the subject. Hmm? How's things with Max? Mm, not easy. Be surprised if it were. Guess he didn't like what you've become, huh? I didn't used to like certain things either. Still don't like them. But I learned how to swallow them. What's he gonna do now? Don't think even he knows that. How'd you describe Watson in one sentence? The Japanese built Kabuki, but the Chinese lived... Well, no time for this. We have an entire aquarium full of corpos, and that's no metaphor. Know what all that comes out to? One sentence is never enough? That's Watson. Just that I appreciate the effort you put in. You've given most cyber psychos a second chance. And I know it wasn't easy. Some of the cyber psychotic have started therapy. Even if they can't be saved, at least maybe we'll learn more about the disease. Because I refuse to believe it's just some kind of cyberware overload. Who knows? Maybe I'll learn enough to write a piece on it. But anyway, the reward is yours. Thanks.
really is on the other side. And you see it? They can hoist? Last chance to buy a luxury apartment in the dollop of sunshine. Watch your investments blossom.
when you slip.
Hey. Get any good grub here? You sure can, friend.
best will stay here in camp. I want patrols every half hour, reporting directly to me. Are we preparing for a visit from Biotechnica? Or a fourth corporate war? The Raffins could surprise us at any moment. You're not blowing this a little out of proportion. I don't want any more surprises. Besides, we look good aware. Prepared. Hey, you're here. What is he doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend? To do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. You really think you can forbid Pan Am from doing anything? Trust me, no point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul! Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this! A chance... It's a what? Rotting up the job we came here to do? Wow. Seems a lot changed while I was away. No. Nothing has changed at all. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. Thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us, and we'll say thank you and ask for more. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Let me guess. Whole thing's your idea. How did you know? Saul wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull. Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. For the family. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes. A craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this Biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back and drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. Remember a while back, told me to give you a solid kick in the pants if I saw you diving in the stupid pool again. I do. Yet that was before our tandem raid on the Raffin camp. I believe you lost your opportunity there. Nope. Different that. Rescue mission. Someone from the family. Now, you're out to plain trick him. If you plan to lecture me, you can damn well go right now. And you plan to grab the Basilisk how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary. Easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh?
No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the Basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy... We'll halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Damn short, sweet, and pretty. It's all too... easy. Convenient to arrange. The exact tech you need. Coming your way, almost served on a silver platter. Yes. Saul also claimed it stinks to high heaven. Intel on the convoy. Where'd you get it? Carol hacked the Militech comms channel. Is that enough for you? Pan Am's got a beef with Saul, I know. But you guys. A few years back, nobody would have given Corporal work a second thought. We want a good name. We just need good gear and good jobs. And Saul would see that if he pulled his head out of his caboose once in a while. Okay, I'm in. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy, too? Screw you. But are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't...
notice a thing are you trying to insult me Bobby okay okay forget I even asked Let's go. The Raffins, what about them? Expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing that means nothing if you're alone. Yeah. Quick adjustment on my part, too. Though, uh, never was completely alone. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie? I remember that. We have arrived. Bastard. If you like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the Basilisk go on its way? Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Sol would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay. The Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. 
All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Okay, let's get to work. this one, so we'll call it a tie. Be right there. Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel... Free. Like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply... Help me look. Sure thing. Not here. Not here. Nothing here. Nada. Hmm. Well, well, well. Got something. Good job.
Here goes nothing. It worked! Come look! Little engine that could. V, I wanted to speak with you. Missed you. Pretty bad. Oh, well, this means... Oh, wait, just, just wait. This is not how we usually talk. No time like the present. Okay. Go ahead. That was a joke. Listen, V, I believe I know where this is going. And not to your liking? No, it's not that. I also wish to talk about it, just not so openly. My plan was to tiptoe around, test the waters, then retreat back into my shell. Okay, but let's skip the tiptoeing. Where are we now? I would not want to cock this up. Please note, the arrival of the next freight train is delayed. So far, so good, champ. Because I've kept my mouth shut up to now. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh, noticed. I know, but I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Why is it any different with me? Because I truly care this time. Yet I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close, if only as a friend. I think you're overthinking it. I don't scare that easy. Okay, if you say so. All right, let's rejoin the others. Convoy, got eyes and ears on it? Yes, Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned, for now. Get your ass down a minute, honey. And breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. Worried about Saul? quite some time left till dusk. Hmm. The car could use another one, so far. The stars have emerged. We've got a few hours till dawn. You're acting spooked. 
as if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ugh. Was it someone I know? New. No. Scorpion. He came home from the war, head full of new ideas and a host of new contexts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. To Scorpion. And to Jackie. You're not talking about the war much. What's there to say? They just packed you into a panzer down in Mexico and said full speed ahead, soldier. Then it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard AI. Drinking iodide like water because your Geiger wouldn't shut up. Mm-hmm. I'm sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin. Uh-huh. But you all can't wait to pack your asses into the basilisk, huh? That's different. Completely different. You'll see once you're on board. Gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. P? Did you just doze off? Grown kind of cold out here. Not true, but this is nice. Catch some shut eye with me. I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course, that's the Big Dipper. And you see the small flickering star to the right? Yeah. You do? Oh dear. That means there's some major leak. Good night, V. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, V.
get her up to speed.
What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The Basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine, go right ahead. In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Till that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unlock.
Are you V? Please, step in the vehicle. Step in the vehicle. Okay. 
Okay. Hello, V. I'm Jefferson Perales. You've already spoken with Elizabeth, my wife. So, what do you got for me? Carter, let's go. Straight to the matter at hand, huh? <laughs> Is everything all right? My time's pretty valuable. Pretty sure yours is, too. True. Elizabeth? Well, as you're probably aware, Mayor Lucius Ryan recently passed. We want to know how, why, whatever else is pertinent. Far as I know, case is closed already. It is. Of course, the police wrote it off as natural causes, Ryan passed at home due to a cardio implant malfunction. But we're left wondering about the cyber psycho attack at City Hall a few days earlier. The police say it was completely unrelated. What makes you think the cops got it wrong? Got any evidence? Shortly before Ryan passed, he made cuts in the NCPD budget. Perhaps got on someone's bad side that way. In any case, we have the cyber-psycho attack on a BD. Our chief of security scanned it, but didn't find anything out of the ordinary, so to speak. We need a brain dance editor, a real one. It's raw footage. The brain dance. It has to be back where it belongs today. Or a lot of people will be in a lot of trouble. If you agree to help, you can see it right now. Where'd you get the scroll? Ryan was making a public appearance. BD scrolling standard procedure for events like that. Following the attack, the NCPD impounded the footage as evidence. We had to pull many strings to extract it. Is everything all right? All right. See what I can do. Excellent. We'd be happy with any fine that would clarify things. Alleviate lingering doubts. Well, what do we got here? Question is, what are you doing here? My brain too, isn't it? And this time, don't go scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG. Who's the Hulk guy? No idea. Those ass clowns are all the same.
They left literally seconds before the attack. And it looks planned. Like it was done on purpose. That or the psycho saw his chance and took it. Don't get paranoid on me. Hold it! Stop right there! Slow your roll! River Ward, NCPD. Police, let him in? Let him wait. It's important. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Preem, do it after the conference. The cop wanted to tell security something. Probably that he was standing by to lick Ryan's butthole. Could've chromed half the city with what he was packing. Probably what happened. Body disappeared from the morgue, sight unseen. And then some pig got himself a new set of wheels and an ugly ass suit. Know that? We're just talking out your ass again. Once you've seen all I've seen, don't need to know things to know them. People are the same everywhere. Okay, it's coming out your ass. <laughs> Terminal crashed right as he went through the gate. Yeah, glitch was no accident. Nah, seen stranger coincidences. Like? Like when you bang some chick and then her sister later, same night. And it turns out they're both sisters of God. That really happened to you? Nah, but it could have. And this, and, 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 and this time, it was rolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG. Second conference in three days. No idea what this blitz is for. That's why I'm mayor and you're not. Now's when we need the visibility. You're spreading yourself too thin. I'll rest tonight. My room at the Red Queen's race is ready. Yes, of course. Good. Now go. Out of practice. Red Queen's race. Cause any inner synapse zaps? Sure, a bunch of old Brit farts and powdered wigs shouting, OFF WITH THEIR HEADS! You know, you're allowed to say you don't have a clue. Well, well, well. Hold it! Stop right there! Slow your roll! River Ward, NCPD. Police. Let him in? It's important. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Preem, do it after the conference. Preem, do it after the conference. The tune. Don't recognize it. Tune? What he's humming. Wouldn't call that a tune. He's really into it. So, anything? 
any thoughts? Did you uh, see anything suspicious? Anything at all? Or are... All things stinks worse than Coronado Bay in July. Huh. So suspicions confirmed. Any questions at this point? Red Queen's race. What is it? Got me. Never heard of it. Sorry. Who's Holt? Ryan's deputy. And his bulldog, so to speak. Running in Ryan's place now. Conference. Why was it held? For no particular reason. Ryan liked the sound of his voice and seeing himself on TV. <sighs> yeah, that sort of thing. As far as I recall, the drop in Night City's violent crime rate was the excuse for this one. Ryan came out to tout it. <laughs> Sorry, drop. Ryan reclassified Pacifica an independent district. Stats for that part of town stopped counting. <laughs> Clever. Cop who saved Ryan. Know anything about him? Detective River Ward. Good guy. We worked a few cases together. You want to talk to him? I'll put you in touch. Mayor's Hustle, the NCPD. No, all handpicked by Holt, and on a corpse payroll. But there are ex-cops among them. Anyone else besides Ryan's detail have access to the terminal? Hmm. NCPD. That's it. Sheesh. What a great timing. Either has crazy good luck or had a source. Got good info. I'm gonna need some of each. Well said. I'm sending you his deeds. If you need anything else, let us know. We'll help. Looking into the death of one Lucius Ryan. Wonder why? You're not a cop. I'm conducting a private investigation into this matter. Good luck with that. And do me a favor, lose this number. I like PIs about as much as I like the Scop in Caliente. I'm no private eye. So what are you? Meet me. You'll find out. All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. Be their stat. There soon. Fuck me, it is awesome. <laughs> so I hear.
Hey, Judy. How you feeling? Shitty, but something came to me. So what did you come up with? The mock at Lizzie's bar used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. It belongs to us now. Clouds could stand to get the same makeover. Got the mocks to agree to take over Clouds. No, I'm trying to get you. Know someone at Clouds will take our side. Will you help? Fine. Got me on board. Oh, yes. Okay, so, what's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Michael Maeda. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. Maiko Maeda. Who is she exactly? Girl who unofficially runs clouds. Good at it, too. What's she do officially? She's a doll, so she's a nobody. Evelyn, Maiko... You seem to know your way around clouds. He used to work there. Helped him out with their behavioral chip, perfecting it. Why'd you leave? Didn't like the vibe. Place reeked of exploitation. Sure, Maiko's gonna want to join forces. If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Is there any chance she'll slap us around then shove us out her mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that. When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before eight. I'll be by the entrance. No, scratch that. The balcony above clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it.
Boston. Don't turn to gang. Come to the NCPD. We'll help. No strings attached.